Okay, so here I am with Emily Bascones. Sometimes uh, families ask me, okay, after the kids study uh, at the cottage school and they finish here and they go to a totally different school, how do they feel? Well, um, I felt like a, it was a big transition because, I mean, from like being the only sixth grader to like having a bunch of kids in a mm. class was different. But um, I got used to it as time went on. And some of the things are a little bit too, like, I'm advanced for them. Like, math, I really learned, like, what I learned, what I'm learning now, I learned last year. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's advanced. And next year, I'm going into honors for math. Wow. And the reading, uh, your mother said the same thing that you're doing eighth grade reading, right? Yeah. So it's advanced. You're, mm -hmm. like, a one year ahead, right, of yes. the rest. And um, mm -hmm. I got this, like, um, paper that I got like qualified to be a tutor for younger kids how did you yes i heard that how did your mom mention something but how did you do that did you apply so, or they just chose you no, to no so um at the end of every like marking period like you could say like um yeah like at the end of every marking period which is like kind of like a semester you get um you get like these like new opportunities to do things like so you could do debate and art and band and chorus so, um, in social studies, I was one day writing about um, how the election went, and I got this paper that said that I am qualified to be a tutor if I wanted to be. All I had to do was, like, my mom had to sign, um, like, the sheet of forms, mm -hmm. and then I would be already, like, in um, the tutoring session. And it's every Thursday in the afternoon after school, and there's, like, all these kids from, like, 5th grade to 8th grade come, and I tutor from 5th to 7th. Wow, Emily, that's <laughs> great. Do you like it? Yeah, it's fun. Oh, that's wonderful. So I see now what your mother meant when you, she said that you help other kids. That's mm -hmm. wonderful, Emily. I'm so <laughs> happy for you. And so what about taking tests? You know, we don't do tests here. We don't yeah. believe on that. So, so how was the first the test? The first time I had a test, um, so... I remember that because I, like, because on Mondays in the afternoon last year, I used to take, like, these, like, classes, like, CCD classes, which, like, it was, like, religion things, and mm. we used to have, like, standard tests there, mm. so I, ha like, I had a little bit, like, of an idea in my head, mm. but, um... What a I death was, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we usually take it on the computer, and if not, then you have, like, a little, like, packet, mm -hmm. and there's, like, little, like, questions there, and you have to choose one. And then there's sometimes like quizzes, and then from the quizzes, what they do is from what you learned in the quizzes, they transfer it to a unit test, and mm -hmm. that's where you take like everything you learned. It's like a review. Okay, so that's in the school then. Mm -hmm. And are you fine with them? I mean, I, yeah. I assume if you have this super grades, you know, that <laughs> you're doing fine, right? Yeah. So it was actually not hard then to transition from yeah. not having tests to taking them, right? Yeah. But like, mm -hmm. I remember the first day. There was, like, so many kids walking in the hallway. I got lost because I it was, like, a whole new thing with the lockers and the classroom transition. And I remember I thought that, like, I would stay and, like, because my first period of class is math. So then I thought that I would, like, stay in math until, like, the whole day like we do here. Mm -hmm. But then, no, I had to go to, like, different hallways and go downstairs and upstairs. But now I'm used to it. Okay, yes. I mean, the, and the same happened uh, to my kids, mm -hmm. and they uh, didn't have to transition from, you know, such a small school. So I think it happens in high school, too, again, to everyone, that until you find your place, mm -hmm. right? And so then you mentioned in your testimonial that um, one of the things you remember are that you're happy about coming here. You know, mentioned many things, but one I, that comes to my mind now is the creativity. Yes. Mm -hmm. So... Um, because now I'm taking art class and we have to make up these like, like stories that are like in our heads and, um, like this, like school helped me a lot with creativity because like when a story pops out, I just write it down mm -hmm. and then like, I see the next day that my stories are like in the bulletin boards in the office because oh, wow. like Look mine are like the most creative you could say. Oh, <laughs> and then you are doing also art classes and what does mm -hmm. the art teacher say? Then? So like. The art teacher, like, says that I have, like, a good imagination. Uh-huh. And it's, like, a really creative thing that I'm doing with the stories. Because she says, like, they're, like, unique stories, you could say. 
Oh, that's wonderful, Emily. That's yeah. the whole idea. And then the other thing that creativity allows, you, you know, to create a, a new thought, mm -hmm. to think outside the box. Yes. So, you know, I'm sure if, um, I'm sure, no, I imagine when you said you wrote, you know, something and then they ask you to be a tutor, perhaps they thought that they saw that you could think outside the box. Do you feel that way? Yeah. That they say that, something like that, or, or... They said, like, when I was, like, going into there, they said that I had, like, this, like, big, like, creativity in me and that it would be, like, a good example for young children as they're growing up uh -huh. to, like, be with. Oh, great. Okay, I see. Yes. So, um, so you use your creativity in writing stories or helping yeah. other kids figure things out, yeah. right? Like we had to solve problems here, even just to, you mm -hmm. mentioned in the testimonial that you remember writing the whole script and yeah. for that we had to figure things out, right, mm -hmm. on their own, find solutions. And that's part of using the creative thinking that I'm talking about, you know, finding mm -hmm. solutions. So, okay, is, is there any thing that you don't like? about the new school that you say that you well I mean like the homework uh, like okay. they give so much much like so much homework like what I don't really get is like the homework that they give you is things that like you're learning about but I'm saying that there could be like well now they're taking like I at first I didn't like the homework at all because it was like a lot of work and I used to stay until like like late at night doing it but um there was a boy in my class his name is Sean, who stood up for homework and he said that there should be not like a lot of homework and that went to the Board of Education. And with that, now we have like the 50% less homework. So in social, so what wow, happened, that's great. So what mm -hmm. happened in social studies was that the boy, like it all started in social studies. So in social studies, my teacher used to give out like these to take notes and all that stuff. But now we get to do something like that's fun that we like to do. So we get to do like these projects during the week. And then at the end of the week, we get to, like, present them. And you could do, like, art. You could do whatever you want. You can draw. You could do poetry. You can write stories about the things that you were learning, hmm. which is really nice. Uh-huh. That's good. So then they um, diminish not the amount of homework you have. So that's mm -hmm. better. And then you have one more year and then high school, right? Yes. Wow. <laughs> and did you think about what you would like to study later on or um, to be doing when you grow I up? I really like to, like, I, re I love math. Um, so I want to do something in like a career that has to do with math. Good for you. I mean, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else you want to add? No, that's no? it. Okay. Well, I have one more question then. Mm -hmm. It's that the families, uh, sometimes question the fact that we have less students here mm -hmm. and they think that uh, because we have less, you develop less social skills. And I think that is actually a myth because you develop very strong social skills, mm -hmm. you know, confidence, for example, I find you being very confident, right, <laughs> and very friendly, and even, you know, you have empathy, you help other kids, so I see all of the contrary, not just from you, but from other students that left such a small school, but they do build very strong social skills, and so they sometimes they think it's about quantity, you know, if they have more kids in another school, they can develop more social skills, but it doesn't work mathematically. Exactly. You know, there is quality here. And so my question is, do you think that you felt that you couldn't make friends when you went there or anything like that socially? Or? Like in the first day, I made like five friends already. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Because like, like there was like some like, like, I don't know, like you could say like, well, my mom says I'm really friendly to people. Hmm. The, and um, what happened was, like, I was, like, sitting at lunch. And then, like, these, like, girls came over and started talking. And then we started laughing. And then we soon became, like, really good friends. Yeah. And you were the only sixth grader here last year, right? Yeah. And yeah. you don't have... Do you have any problems relating to, to seventh graders this year? No. Not no. at all. Right. Okay. That's wonderful to hear, Emily. We miss you, but I'm so happy you're doing very well. <laughs> Thank you.